Welcome guys. Today's video, we are over here on the new yellow line. We're at the Lad Proud station. And we're gonna jump on this. This is the terminal station at the north. And we're gonna jump on this brand new monorail. It's free right now until the end of July, I believe. And we're gonna go over and we're gonna check out the, uh, the Roadfi night market. I haven't been over there in like almost two years. I was kind of waiting for this yellow line to be open. So we're gonna jump on this train and kind of see how long it takes and then uh, we'll go enjoy the uh, night market. So uh, hopefully it'll be good, a good time tonight. It's uh, Saturday night, so the night market should be fun. It's only open on the weekends, so you gotta get over there Friday night, Saturday night, or Sunday night. So uh, let's go check it out. This is the yellow line, and you can see it says yellow zero one. It has a nice signage. It says five minutes till the next train. Everything is uh, new and shiny. The monorail is driverless. It's all computerized. You see the camera right up there in the front. So it should have a pretty good view from the front window. And so here is the... Uh, <laughs> the engine compartment. You can see up there. Not sure why there's a windshield wiper on it because there's no driver. So the train is full. It's free right now, so everybody can ride it instead of taking the bus. And we'll go right down the middle of Lad Prow. So this is Ratchet Up PSEC. And we'll hang a left and go right down the middle of Lad Prow to the Mall Banga B, and then we'll hang a right and go down Sina Nakarin. Alright, Suan Luang Rama 9. This will take us over to the night market. It took 31 minutes to get over here. And it's right next to Paradise Park and Sikon Square. That was a pretty smooth ride, no real issues. It was a total of 14 stations. And it's uh, got up to 65 kilometers an hour at one point. All right, so that's what you're looking for when you come. That is the sign that says the Road Fi Night Market. You take exit one out of the yellow line and then it's a short walk back here. So we're almost into the market. So I got a few little pubs and stuff here. So they put this little walkway in, which is new. So it goes right from the BTS back into the night market. So there's just a couple motorcycles here. This is uh, right in front of the night market. So we'll be able to go in now. And there's thousands and thousands of motorcycles. All right, so let's go around. There's a lot of shopping and stuff here. So you got some shirts over there, skirts for a hundred baht, glow in the dark. Yeah, there's a lot of people out here tonight. Big difference than we when we came last time. Last time the COVID restrictions were just being released and it was still pretty empty. I think all of this right here was even closed up, but tonight it's open. So you got restaurants over here, then you got nails, jewelry, stuff like that. A little two-story, so you can go up and eat up above. Looks like they got fruit smoothies over here. Looks like they've actually added this section back here. They have a bunch of these little pubs. Over there's parking, and then you got some more pubs and restaurants and stuff on this side. It's kind of a cool area. They added this grass. This used to be the parking lot, but now it's uh, bars and stuff. Have the little pink waffle here. Got one of these, it was quite nice. So we have some sit down restaurants here. Yeah, these are really cool with the two story. So you can get some noodles. They have a whole row here of all of these little restaurants. 
We got the little barbecue. The same thing here. Looks like it's the uh, the strong cow or something like that. So you can get this buffet for 329 baht. And here they got some of the soup. 290 up to 430 baht. Okay, this is where we want to go over into here. This looks like we got some more of the little barbecue stuff. So here's what is on offer right here. So you can get that big stack of ribs for 990 baht. And you can get the soup. And this is a humongous deal of gapao, and that's a big uh, kaijiali omelet. And then they're making it right over here. So there's the big walks where they're making the gapao. And there's the ribs. And they're boiling it right over there. This is a big operation. Yeah, those pork ribs look pretty nice. Here he's making some of the baked potato with the bacon on it. Nice. You can get it with the corn. And then he has like the little charcoal. And those are like 55 baht for the original if you get it with the cheese. And it's 20 baht extra for the ham. The cheese is 75 baht. So you get it for like 95 baht. Here is like the little canon bobbin. And this is like the uh, the Singaporean version of like the Kanom Croat. To get these for a uh, 40 baht for a little container. And then they have these big ones over here also. Yeah, this is the Kanom Bob and has the young coconut in it. And it's just a little pancake. It's one of my favorite snacks. Here she's making up the crepes. You get it with all these toppings right here. And so it looks like it's uh, 60 baht up to 80. And then right next to it have the uh, like the bubble tea. And they have some of the Dao Song corn dogs. You get the squid ink corn dog. So it looks like 55 baht up to 85. And he's cooking them right in the oil right there and there's his toppings. These are 10 baht each. Here's the insects. There's the seasonings on it. Don't see any prices on it, but however much it is, is too expensive. But he has people waiting in line to buy it. You can see it's shoulder to shoulder here. Got a little sit-down restaurant here. Boong and Gang. Looks like it has some of the barbecue pork ribs and some other stuff that you can get. So here's the fish balls, and you get it with the chili, and then she has little hot dogs and stuff also. So we'll get a container of this. Putting on a little bit of a show. And the cucumbers. So the small container is 25 baht. So and the kebabs, my favorite whenever I go to a night market. It's like the chicken kebab is 70 baht. I might get one of those. You can get it with cheese, get it with tuna. I'm gonna warm up the tortilla right here. Then he has all the toppings. Told him no tomato, no onion. Some little croutons. Chai. Pet net noi.
getting the full the full thing. Ketchup, a little bit of sauce, a little bit of garlic. This is a hot job here. Alright, so there we go. 70 baht for this, so like a little bit more than two baht. So here's the kebab. Let's give it a, a taste. Pretty good. Those uh, little uh, croutons in there make it really nice. I'll eat this and let's keep looking around here for uh, some more so This is the kanom croat. You can get it with the corn, you can get it with the onions, and you can see here, it just has that little coconut milk and then they cook it in that. And you get one container for 35 baht. So here we have the shells. And there she's got the clam right there and you get the chili. And the squid. The little prawns and the snails. A little meat on a stick with the chilies in there. Fresh squeezed orange juice. And yes, these are oranges even though they're green. These little pancakes here. You get one container for 35 baht. And this looks up into all the shopping. It's like there's eight or nine rows of just clothes. few people in here. Some of the shrimp, salmon, some of the little crabs, octopus, squid, more crabs, everything over here. So you got the little prawn, these horseshoe crabs, and these are the toppings here. So he's going to make some of the somtum back there. And here you got the jellyfish, and she's put it on the sticks back there. Put some mango in it. Have some Korean here, Korean food. We have the gimarari and the gimbab. And this here is that kyoko boki. Now I went to Korea and I made a mistake of calling this sushi. And all the Koreans were roasting me in the video saying it's not it's not sushi, it's gimbab. And I guess the only difference is, is the sushi rolls have raw fish and the gimbab, they, uh, they cook it. Some of the little fish patties that they're grilling here. Has the vegetable in it. So those are 10 baht each. Mango and sticky rice. And then he's got the little quail eggs. So they put all the seasoning on it. Yeah, there's tons and tons and tons of food here. This is a, a great night market. And you see it just stretches on. So over here they got some gapow. They got the gapow with the pork, and then they have the gapow with the bamboo, and then the, over there with just the chili. So it's pretty cheap, so we're gonna get some of this. You get a, one container for 30 baht, and if you want the kaidao or with the fried egg, it's an extra 10 baht. So like a buck, buck uh, 30 or so.
depending on if you want the egg or not. And you can get it with a little hot dog and everything else. So it's pretty cheap. At a night market, this is a good price. And the kaitom, the boiled egg. They always boil it where the yolk is really soft like that. Some of the little garlic bread with the milk butter, they're calling it. And she grills it up. So 25 baht. You get some with the little noodles. What she's grilling up right here, these are uh, pig intestines. So you can get uh, one of these sticks here for 10 baht, and then you can get some with the little green chili. They also make these uh, little vegetable cakes. You can get a cup of that for 30 baht. This is a really a stinky vegetable. I don't like that, but uh, some people just absolutely love it. So we get uh, scallops. So these are grilled. You can get seven pieces for 100 baht. And she's back there cutting the lemongrass and other stuff. There you have some of the som tom over here. And then we have some of these prawns and the snails. Squid. And they're grilling it right there. The big squid for 120 baht. He's over here for 80. Some of the little crispy butter. I haven't seen them where they've used the pink and the green before. And over here, this is that ice cream that they use like that nitrogen. Kind of like the Cold Stone Creamery. Little guy here, he's getting ready to get some. He's excited. And it is so busy. Lots and lots of food here. And it all looks delicious. You can sit down and get some noodles here. So how does this look right here? So they got some of the scorpions and the grasshoppers, little worms, those coconut worms and the silkworms, crickets, and then right next to it are these little uh, eclair things. These are quite nice. You get a 30 baht for a container. On here, they're making the pancakes. These guys are pretty creative whenever they do this. So he's making the Dorimon now. They spray this on the thing and then they put the, the batter on top of it. Meat on a stick. Over here we have some of the, these little bread desserts. Get it with uh, chocolate and the butter and the pandarin. So he's making up the, the buttercream, and that's what this eventually becomes. So he smooths it out, and just like this, she's already got it smoothed out, and then they'll roll it up, just like that. It's like she's done it about a billion times. And what they do here, they have these live squid. So they dig them out of there and you can get it in a little salad or in a little cup like this. And the Thais will eat them alive. They'll just bite the head of, of them off. Have some more of the seafood. And up here they're cooking up that uh, white fish. I really like that. That's a good, uh, a good food. They cook it with the rock salt. You can see she's got it over there. And they peel the skin back and you just eat it on top of rice. All right, so that's a lot of the food we've looked at. Let's walk down a little bit and we'll look at some of the clothes and then uh, We'll call it a night after that. So they have some antiques in there and just bunches of stuff to see. So here's some more antiques and it just uh, sprawls out that way. They do have some more food here but it just goes right up against all the clothes. And they just have row after row, 150 baht for these like sweatpants and shorts. Some more sit down restaurants. Dak Yob. What do they sell here? It looks like we got some of the, some of the prawns, some of the seafood. You can eat it up there.
T-shirts, jewelry, some little bags, more T-shirts, 100 baht, shorts, umbrellas. They have everything. So if you want some cheap knickknacks, cheap clothes, these places are the place to come. One hundred baht for these shorts. Yeah, usually the food is about a third of the night market, and then all the shopping is about two thirds. And they got some of these vans out here. Over here, you have uh, cell phone accessories, shorts, some waffles. You have tennis shoes, socks. It's pretty funny that Thais will actually buy secondhand tennis shoes at places like this. You got cones here for 20 baht. Milk tea, the bubble tea. Oh, this is nice. That's gonna finish up our video over here at Road Fi Night Market. This is a great night market. It's one of the best in Bangkok. It's uh, huge. It has something for everybody. The food is great. There's a lot of shopping and it's just pretty cool to come over here and uh, do some people watching and enjoy the evening. So if you, uh, if you like it, make sure you smash like. And if you have any questions about the um, night market or that BTS ride over here, because this is the first time I've been able to take the uh, yellow line because it's brand new. So it made things easy. So if you have any questions about riding the BTS or uh, anything like that, ask me in a comment down below. Or if you just have any other general questions, ask me that also. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, and then you're notified whenever I post a new video. I show you things like this. I just uh, show you things I see here in Thailand or wherever I travel. Just tell you a little bit about what I know. And if you like that, stick around and uh, subscribe. You're notified when I post a new video. And from over here at the Rote Phi Night Market, remember, guys, life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Enjoy.